Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Friday. And today I want to go over how do you go from help desk to a higher level position. So a lot of people, what they do is they get stuck in help desk. They get stuck uh, just being stuck in help desk and you don't you get comfortable in your position and you don't want to level up. And other, other, other things is that you may not want to level up or you don't know how to level up. So today I'm going to go over how to upgrade from help desk to another position. All right, so number one is get certifications, get certified. So if you're trying to aim for a new position, you have to get certification. So that might be CCNA, Microsoft Azure, it may be CISSP, it may be something else. You wanna get certified. So that's number one, get certified on the job that you want. So if you're applying for a specific job, look at the job description, get the certification for that job. Um, some people, there's going to be like a like an argument back and forth because some people get, have gotten jobs without certification. So just remember, there's more than one way to get a job, but I'd rather have someone get certified so then they stand out in the job market with the ATS systems, if that makes sense. Um, number two is know your area. So know your area, know where you live. Just because I live in New York, the job market might be different where I live based on where you live. So you may be somewhere else and they may not be hiring for sysadmin roles. They may be hiring for network admins. They may be hiring for Microsoft Azure architect positions. They may be hiring for something else. So know your job market. They hire, the job market is different everywhere you live. Everywhere you live is different. Every country, state is different. So know your job market. Unless you're applying for a remote job, then that's different. But know your job market. It's different everywhere. Number three, network. Networking is very important. Not, not networking like internet settings and stuff like that. Not like Verizon over here. Networking is connecting with job recruiters, uh, connecting with people that already have the job that you want. So connect with someone, take 15 minutes of their time, be polite to them, be courteous, because everyone is busy. I'm busy. Everyone's busy. Send them a, a professional email instead of saying, hey, I need your help right now. You know, because people sometimes they get emails like that. And, you know, it's just like, need to be a little more, you know, courteous with emails, need to be a little more respectful with emails. So email the person, be respectful, take their time a little bit, take their brain a little bit. And say, I want to, I want to take, I want to engage with you for a little bit. I want to know how you got that position, what you did to get that position, what search did you get and stuff like that. So that's number three, number four, and this is very, this is very important. This is super duper important, by the way. Number four is look at the jobs online whether it's sysadmin, network admin, and look at the job description, you start to see a pattern. Look at four, four or three things that they're asking for. It might be the same for four or five different jobs. So when you do is you look at four or five different jobs, you target the job description, you target what they're asking for, and you learn those skills that they're being, that they're asking you to learn. So for example, if you're applying for Microsoft uh, Azure Architect, they may be asking for AD Connect, uh, AD Connect Azure resource groups, um, uh, VMware, Zen app servers. And they're asking for all that. You just focus on three, four different things. Not everything, just three, four different things. This is called targeting the job. And I learned this from various different platforms. So you're basically, you're targeting a specific job and you're targeting specific things that they're asking for. And you're going based on that and you're aiming for those jobs based on what you're being asked to do in that job, in that job description. So that's what you do. You go to four or five different jobs. You go on Indeed or Dice. You look at the job description and you focus on four or five different things that they're asking for, three, four different things that they're asking for. And then you go ahead and apply for that job. So that's number four. Number five is build a new lab for new skills. So you build with your help desk already, right? So you build a lab for Active Directory, uh, Server 2019, 20, 2016. You learn about group policy a little bit. You probably touch NTFS. You probably touch Active Directory user groups, chat, password reset, account creation. Now you're building a brand new lab for a brand new job. <laughs> so basically you're, you're actually aiming for a higher end position. If it's Microsoft, you, you, now you're gonna go into Azure and you're gonna learn about uh, Azure Cloud. You're gonna learn about um, AD Connect, the marketplace, resource groups, virtual machines, um, how to create your own network, network infrastructure, uh, and, and, and Microsoft gives it to you for, for 12 months for free. And they give you a $200 credit. And you could shut down the VMs if you don't want to pay anything. And you could actually build a budget in your, mark, in your, um, in your website or in the Azure 
portal, you could build your own budget so you don't spend a lot of money. So that's what you want to do if you're applying for Microsoft. Same thing with networking. You, you, you do Cisco Labs, you get Cisco routers, you put it together. Um, you may not be able to afford that. So you get Cisco Packet Tracer. Same thing with security. You, you, you build a virtual lab with VMware, virtual box. You do, you do try hack me or hack the box. So this is what you want to do. You want to build a new lab for new skills. Hopefully that makes sense. And also watching a video is not the same as actually doing it. So you want to actually physically do it, do it to the point that you actually have muscle memory. You know, everything's muscle memory, right? That's why you have a brain, right? Muscle memory. You memorize it and stay stuck in your head and you know how to do it now. But also you need to know how to explain it when you go to a hiring manager or you go to somebody that's interviewing you. You have to know how to explain it in a, in a way that makes sense to them because you don't want to go too technical with the person. Unless it's a hiring manager that works in IT, then that makes sense. But you want to know how to explain it. You're doing a lab, but also you want to know how to explain it to someone else. So if you do a lab, you have to know how to explain it to other people, especially when you're going to a job interview, you have to know how to do that. Hopefully that makes sense. The last one, time to engage with your department. So what do I mean by that? Engage with your department, talk to your manager, ask them to see if they're hiring for new positions. You want to ask them to see if you could take if you could take time with a, a senior level position, like someone as a sysadmin in your department, someone's a network admin in your department. You want to get out of your comfort zone. I always tell people, get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone and go and talk to your manager and ask him or her to see if you could go and talk to your sysadmin or your network admin. You could start learning what they learn and see how they learn those skills and engage their head a little bit, engage their brain a little bit, and you can learn what they're doing right now. Like, oh, okay, you're doing this on this. Can I, can, I, can I learn from you? Can I shadow you for a little bit and learn what you're doing? So you can ask your manager to do that because some companies do that. When I worked for an MSP company, I was shadowing a sysadmin. I'm like, oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm creating scopes right now. Oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm creating, I'm creating reservations on the DNS. Or you want to come and look at it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. What are you doing right now in, my, in one of my other jobs? Oh, I, I'm doing Zen app servers. And um, I'm actually uh, publishing applications on the server. Do you want to know how to do that? Do you want to know how to create VMs and stuff like that on, on the server? I'm like, yes, definitely. So you want to talk to your department before you even do anything else? Before you do anything else, talk to your manager and see if they give you a chance to, to go to another department and learn those things. Or maybe they have a new position that, that's opening, that's open in that in that company. And the thing is, is that they, you know how you know how hard it is to hire someone from brand new from scratch that knows nothing about that department or that company. It's a lot of work. It's very time consuming. So if you learn the skills that they're if you learn the skills that they're asking for in your in your company. They may, they may give you a chance. They may hire you instead of hiring someone else because you already know how the system works because you're already done help desk in the company. So they may give you an opportunity to leap up, go up and do something else. So hopefully that makes sense. They may give you a chance. They may not, but you want to look at it like that, if that makes sense. Okay. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. So get it certified, know your area, network, network, network. Sometimes it's not what you know. It's who you know. I always preach this. Talk to job recruiters. Talk to someone that already has the job that you want. Um, start looking at jobs online and figure out the pattern of the jobs, the job description, build a new lab for new skills because you've done a lab already for help desk. Now you're doing one for a more advanced career and engage with your department. And that's about it. Hopefully this helps you out. If you're already doing help desk, obviously you could do this. If you're, if you're starting out and you're trying to get a job in help desk, you could do the same thing. You could literally do the same thing. A plus, get certified, get A plus, know your area, check your area online, network, connect with people who have help desk jobs already. Um, start looking at things that they're asking for in the job description for help desk. Same thing. Active Directory, Office 365, account creation. Same thing, build a lab. So build a lab, server 2016, install Active Directory, learn about RSAT tools, learn about password reset, account creation, uh, share drive permissioning, group policy. Um, you cannot engage with the departments. You can't do that, but engage with a, a IT platform or IT community. See, it's almost the same thing. Just different, but almost the same thing. All right. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys have a great Friday. Take care. Peace.